name is Caitlin Smith Franklin and I am the horn instructor here at San Jose State University and I have some tips for you um, to help make your all-state recording of Strauss 1 even better. So Richard Strauss's first horn concerto is undoubtedly a cornerstone of the horn solo repertoire. It's important to know that Richard's father, Franz Strauss, was a fantastic professional horn player principal horn at the Munich Court Orchestra, in addition to a composer in his own right. So Ricard was fully aware of the instrument's capabilities and heroic tone color from a very young age. It only makes sense that Strauss spotlighted the horn in his many orchestral compositions, as well as writing two outstanding concerti that make full use of the horn's range of tone colors and technical abilities. Despite composing his Concerto No. 1 in 1883, at the young age of 18, Strauss already had a lifetime of virtuosic horn playing in his ear. So it's important to approach this solo with a very heroic, virtuosic mindset. Play for a big hall. Imagine your sound filling up a thousand seat concert hall. The piece opens unusually for concerto form with a single strong chord from the orchestra or piano. And then the soloist immediately begins with a heroic theme based on rising and falling arpeggios. We should be able to feel your forward energy all through this four bar introduction. Make sure your dotted rhythm is good. You want the 16th note to essentially feel like a pickup, like it belongs to the next note. Think of saying ta-da, like this. Sounds like ta-da, ta-da, right? Okay. The second excerpt you have to play should start again with a heroic tone color, but then quickly change to a style of romantic lyricism. Remember to keep the sound nice and full when you're at the bottom of the staff. Don't try to play too softly, as this register on horn does not project very well. Feel the intensity begin to build around measure 103 as you transition into the triplet theme. Pay close attention to how Strauss marks staccato articulation on the triplet eighth notes, but the accented quarter note on beat three and the quarter notes in general throughout this section should be full value, nice and long, like this. <laughs> The excerpt you have to play from the third movement closes out the entire concerto with a brave display of flashy technique. The 6-8 meter of the third movement evokes hunting calls so typical in early horn writing. Let the fast closing section maintain this bouncy feel without sounding frantic. Practicing with a metronome so you build up mastery of speed is the best way, I think, to achieve a controlled yet impressively fast tempo. I like to play this closing section around dotted quarter note equals 138 or 140. Also, experiment with staying on the B flat side of the instrument to make some of the fingering combinations faster and easier to move through at your quick tempo. So for example, measure 272, if I stay on the B-flat side, would look like this. Much easier than having to switch back and forth and lift your, your thumb a lot. Feel free to pull back the tempo ever so slightly for the last two and a half measures to really let the concerto close with one final heroic hurrah.
Thank <laughs> you. 